this is a video about how one fan base through the course of 2010 and on managed to make themselves the joke of the internet a bigger joke than every single other hated fan base a joke even bigger than sonic fanboys a joke that is so big that every single day they manage to hit new lows. This video chronicles a certain fan base. The name of the fan base, Bronies. Who are Bronies? Bronies, by definition, are fans of a show called My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, a show targeted toward little girls. One of their characteristics that defines them is not only will they accept anyone into their cult, but they will also try to convert others to watch their show and get extremely butt mad and then tell everybody I watch My Little Pony. This has resulted in great lulls. So now let's just show you the failure of this fandom, shall we? One of the better things you should definitely try before despising is some of the hobbies of those of your own opposite gender. Like, uh, for example, if you're a young gentleman, I recommend buying yourself a My Little Pony figure of your favorite color or whatever. Now, uh, stroking the hair of said pony is very relaxing and therapeutic and also rubbing against your cheek. And also, uh, you can pretend that uh, the pony is uh, that girl you want to take you want to take out to, you want to take out sometime, and talk to the pony like you would talk to the girl. Okay, I'm I'm circuit main. Yeah, I never imagined I'd be on a camera so quickly, but okay, what's going on here? I found out about a brony meetup over here in my own little neck of the woods here in Utah in the United States. Now what I've decided is I'm going to go ahead and infiltrate this brony meetup and finally get a chance to meet some of the bronies that are out there. Now you're probably wondering why this camera's a little shaky. Well for one thing I don't have a stand. And two, I'm a little nervous and a little excited. You know, this is kind of awesome. Plus it's going to be my first self-created video content with uh, just a desktop and a uh, couple Skype callers. Okay, I'm over here at the Gateway Mall. This is a big hub for people over here in Salt Lake City. Now, this is where I believe the bronies are going to be located. Now, the thing is that bronies are a little bit isolated sometimes. You cannot tell if they're a brony immediately unless they really want to show it off. Now, the first thing you got to do is locate. Usually, they're in a pack. Okay, there's a potential pack right there. I might be in luck. I might have a first time here. Okay. Now, there, as I was saying, there are two ways to identify a brony. Now, they're going to be a little standoffish, so i got to be very careful how I do this. Now, the first thing to do is a bro hook. Everybody knows it's just a normal fist, and you just bring it forward. Just hold it forward, and they should... Okay, we've got a bro hook here. We've got two bro hooks. Three... Four. We got four bro hooks, so they might be bronies, but then again, they just might look like a fist bump. So, we have to ask the integral question, and hopefully they know the answer. Now, how fast can you be 20% cooler? 10 seconds flat. We have bronies, people. We have found the bronies in Utah. We have them. Adventures in Canterlot, Store Dogs. Festival of Friendship. Where is Lilia? Just for uh, safe donations, you can get them if you're lucky at Target, for the Canada Office, that's around 10 bucks. Yeah. And it has back there for telling your secrets, Draft, Apple, Jack. Tell me your secrets, Draft. Oh, and for the night, covered, you know, and whatnot. What does the brown cover look like without the plastic sheet? Um, probably the same thing. Same. <laughs> okay. Uh, this book belongs to. Who does? No one apparently. Name, otherwise, I have a rule. It's collectible. Must not touch. Now they're written by Heather. 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 Heather.
Six look for Kimberly. On an outside beyond Polyville, high above the clouds, stands the most magical, beautiful, and glamorous place. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
What's the biggest misconception about bronies? That we all want to uh, screw ponies. What is the darker side of the brony fandom? Uh, those would be the people who actually like look at the porn of the characters and have actually made like plushies that you can use for sexual purposes. Oh boy! Well, what is a plushie? Um, a stuffed animal. <laughs> This is crazy. Oh, it gets crazier. Stick with this. What is a clobber? Basically the uh, equivalent to a connoisseur of pornography. Yeah, they, they uh, have their own language, like a clopper. What, what is this one called? Um, a <laughs> clopper is someone who, you know, I guess beats off to My Little Ponies. Oh. You know, people who watch pony porn. But it's My Little Pony porn. Who even My knew little... that existed? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a whole universe out there you don't know about. And I wish I didn't. Pony pornography? Yeah, pretty much. Have you ever pledged yourself to a My Little Pony character? I'd be lying if I said no. Well, which uh, My Little Pony do you find most sexually appealing? Oh, God. Probably Twilight. What's her most uh, attractive feature? As anyone would say, sweet pony ass. As anyone wow, would say. Wow, as anyone would say. <laughs> That's great. Wow. Wow, we awesome huh that is it is a shame oh it gets crazier okay just stick with this what where you are to their parents oh they live with their parents all of them <laughs> wait wait just listen what brings you out to brody con well i came here from san francisco so i made a long trip and wow. i love the ponies describe for the radio audience what is rule 34 Rule 34, um, if it exists, there is porn of it. So you're saying that there is My Little Pony pornography out there? There's plenty of it. <laughs> what is clopping? Clopping um, is the uh, pony term for uh, the fapping, which is also uh, another term for uh, masturbation. You said flapping? Fapping. Fapping. That is the sound you make when you... <laughs> yeah. Fapping is the sound that what? Fapping is the sound you make when a man masturbates. Which pony are you most sexually attracted to? Um, um, mm, toss up between uh, Rarity and Pinkie Pie. Rarity and Pinkie Pie? <laughs> yeah. Have you ever pleasured yourself to the image of a pony? Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, yes I have. <laughs> now, which pony do you jerk off to most often? I will not answer that question. Yeah, something. We just want to make you smile, smile, smile. Now with me, everybody. Come on, every pony. Smile, smile, smile. Fill my heart up with sunshine, sunshine. Come on, every pony. Smile, smile, smile. Now these happy friends of mine. Come on, every pony. Smile, smile, smile. Fill my heart up with sunshine, sunshine. Come on, every pony. Smile, smile, smile. For these happy friends of mine. Come on, every pony, and they'll smile. It's as wide as a mile. Nothing <laughs> you happy as can be. Smile, 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 smile. Come on and smile. Come on and smile. Come on and smile. Gonna feedback like crazy. One more time, everybody. Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Jordan White. See? That's me. That's me right here. And I'm, I'm about to do something... I'm about to... Since I... Well, I can't really, uh... Well, at least... Well, at least I can't get a Happy Meal pony and some stuff. Well, here's my unboxing of the... Hap, uh, of the current Happy Meal ponies that are being... You know, Released out there. See, there's Pinkie Pie. Yep. Nope. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Ah, this. Oh, hang on. Um, hey, I, I've got the same, the same t of t both toy, and it turns out I want the, uh, I want Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash. Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash. It, it turns out that, the, that I got both of the same one. Oh, look, looks like I'm gonna... Well, looks like I'm probably gonna get what I want. Uh, well, t unless, uh... Unless they actually know who the heck these, uh, ponies are. I mean, doggone, every... Every pony must understand that, uh... Oh. 
Yes. Ooh. Oh, here they, here they come. Here they come. Oh. Well. Oh, that's all right. Uh, well, at least I can't pretend that one's Rainbow Dash and one's Pinkie Pie. What are you doing a video for? Uh, t an unboxing of the Happy Meal toys for YouTube because because uh, there's this huge counterculture of 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 on the internet called bronies. There's this huge counterculture on the internet called bronies and. Uh, and they have mashups and clips based off this one pony show. Alright. At least I explained to her what the whole brony thing meant. Dude. Ugh. Man. Like breaking through the chain. It's a strong it. There you go. What the heck is this? Just take the broken lambs down. Don't you care about nothing other than purifying? Sun Pony has to. I'm making an absolute mess in the town square, Applejack. Yeah, well, the storm's gonna make an even bigger mess if we don't tump... But take down these loose branches so they don't tumble down on any pony. I simply can't believe why the Pegasus ponies would, uh... We're scheduled a dreadful downpour this evening, ruining what could be a beautiful sunny day. Holes in the whole series. Yep, here's Applejack. Of course, uh, of course, I'm gonna probably reenact the scene where she's trying to make an excuse uh, to Pinkie Pie. Hey, Pinkie Pie! Hey, Pinkie Pie! Uh, yeah! Aren't you? Uh, we're just doing a little uh, construction work here, like. <laughs> Play construction work. Okie dokie loki. Sorry. Okay, that's okay. I I fully unboxed the entire set of of, of the current 2012 Mile Ponies Friendship is Magic at McDonald's. All right. Well, see you. Bye. I would say its best quality is its interesting, likeable, and three-dimensional characters. First we have Twilight Sparkle. And no, she does not sparkle in the daylight. She is a unicorn pony, which means she can use magic. She is also a prodigy magic student and can be very powerful. She starts out being a social recluse, and she is a bookworm and nerd. A good comparison... Hi, I'm Lauren Malachy, the director of this project. Some people don't understand bronies. They make fun of them, they marginalize them, they just don't get it. I'm excited to make this documentary because I believe in the message of the show, and I believe that bronies deserve a chance to show us who they really are and why they've chosen to become fans. Hey, it's no use! Kate? It's no use! Kate? It's no use! It's no use! This will end it! It's no use! This will end it! It's no use! This will end it! Good.